Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vendi. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in Solution and Discussion on UPSC Engineering Service Exam Mechanical, Mechanical Engineering Questions in Refrigeration and Air Conditioning. This is lecture number 27. The first question from 2018 question paper, an ideal refrigerator working on a reversed car Rankine cycle has a capacity ratio of 3 tons. The COP of the unit found to be 6. The capacity of the motor required to run the unit is, we have 4 options, 1.85 kW, 1.75 kW, 1.65 kW, 1.5 kW. We take 1 ton equal to 210 kJ per minute. The correct answer is 1.75 kW. We will see how in the next slide. The power of the compressor motor for 3 ton of refrigeration. So, COP is defined as CO, refrigeration effect divided by the compressor work input. The refrigeration effect is given as 3 tons. So, 3 divided by power. So, COP is given as 6. So, equal to 3. 3 ton. It is 210 kilojoules per minute. So, 210 divided by 60 into power. Rearranging power equal to 10.5 divided by 6 equal to 1.75 kilowatts. That is the answer to the question. The next question again from 2018 question paper, a cold storage has a capacity for food preservation at a temperature of minus 3 degrees Celsius when the outside temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. The minimum power required to operate, operate with a cooling load of 90 kilowatt is, we have 4 options given here, the correct answer is 10 kilowatt, we will see how in the next slide. The temperature limit are given higher temperature T1 27 degree Celsius with 300 Kelvin, lower temperature minus 3 degree Celsius with 270 Kelvin, the refrigeration effect equal to 90 kilowatts. The COP of the refrigerator, so heat absorbed will be work done or which is also equal to T2 minus T2, temperature, lower temperature divided by the temperature difference. So, 270 divided by 300 minus 70, so 270 by 30 equal to 9. Power of the compressor for 90 kilowatt of refrigeration, COP equal to refrigeration effect divided by the work comp compressor work input, so refrigeration RE divided by P. So, COP is 9, we have calculated, is equal to 90 divided by power, so power equal to 90 by 9 equal to 10 kilowatts. So, this is the answer to the question. The next question from 2019 and 20 question paper, a cold storage is to be maintained at minus 5 degree Celsius, while the surrounding are 35 degree Celsius. The heat leakage from the surrounding to the cold storage is estimated to be 29 kilowatts. The actual COP of the refrigeration plant used is one third of that of ideal power, ideal power plant working between the same temperature. The power required to drive the plant will be, we have four options here. So, the correct answer is 13 kilowatt. So, we will see how in the next slide. The temperatures are T1 equal to 35 degree Celsius with 3, 308 Kelvin. T2 equal to minus 5 degree Celsius, which is 268 Kelvin. The refrigeration effect equal to the heat leakage, which is 29 kilowatts. The COP of the refrigerator, based on the temperature, COP equal to minimum temperature divided by the temperature difference. So, 268 divided by 308 minus 268, which is 268 by 40 equal to 6.7. The actual COP is one third of the theoretical COP. So, 6.7 divided by 3 equal to 2.23. So, the power of the compressor, so COP equal to refrigeration effect divided by the compressor work input. So, which is 2.23, 29 divided by power. So, P equal to power equal to 29 divided by 2.23 equal to 13 kilowatt. So, 13 kilowatt is the answer to the question. The next question from 2016 question paper. In a vapor compression refrigerator, the heat rejected in the condenser is 1500 kJ per kilogram of the refrigerant flow. And the work done by the compressor is 250 kilojoules per kilogram. The COP of the refrigerator is, we have four options, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, the correct answer is 5. The COP equal to 5. We will see how in the next slide. So, for a refrigerator, heat rejected is Q1, which is 1500 kilojoules per kilogram. Work done is 250 kilojoules per kilogram. Heat absorbed by the evaporator from the Q2 equal to Q1 minus W, so 1500 minus 250 equal to 1250 kilojoules per kilogram. So, COP equal to heat absorbed by the work done. 
So COP equal to 1250 divided by 250 equal to 5. So 5 is the answer to the question. The next question from 2017 question paper. The refrigeration system of an ice plant working between the temperature of minus 5 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius produces 20 kg of ice per minute from water at 20 degrees Celsius. The specific heat of water is 4.2 kJ per kilogram Kelvin and the latent heat of ice is 335 kJ per kilogram. The refrigeration capacity of the refrigeration plant. There are four options given. So, we calculate the refrigeration effect equal to mass into sensible heat removed from the water plus latent heat, of, latent heat removed from the water. The refrigeration effect equal to mass equal to 20 kg of ice per minute. So, 20 into sensible heat equal to specific heat in temperature difference. So, specific heat equal to 4.2 in the temperature difference is 20 minus 0 degree Celsius. So, heat removed from the water plus latent heat of evaporation. So, 335. So, the answer is 8380 kilojoules per minute. So, this is 8380 kilojoules per minute. The next question from 2018 question paper. The compressor of an ammonia refrigeration machine has the volumetric efficiency of 85 percent and the septo volume is 0.28 meter cube per minute. Ammonia having dry specific volume of 0.25 meter cube per kilogram enters the compressor with a dryness fraction of 0.7. The mass flow rate of ammonia through the machine is, we are given four options. The correct answer is 1.36 kilograms per minute. So, we will see how in the next slide. The volumetric efficiency of the compressor is 0.85, septo volume is 0.28 meter cube per minute and the actual volume is mass into dryness fraction into specific volume of the ammonia refrigeration. So, m into x is the dryness fraction, v is the specific volume. So, mass flow rate of ammonia eta v equal to actual volume divided by the septo volume, volumetric efficiency equal to actual volume divided by the septo volume. The actual volume is mass into specific volume of the ref ammonia refrigerant, which is it is wet, wet refrigerant, wet refrigerant. So x into Vg divided by Vs. So substituting 0.85 equal to mass into x equal to 0.7. It is given in the problem into 0.25 is the specific volume of the dry vapor divided by 0.28 is the specific volume of the swept volume of the cylinder. So, calculating, rearranging and calculating m equal to 0 0.85 into 0 0.28 divided by 0 0.7 into 0 0.25 equal to 1.36 kilograms per minute. So, that is the answer to the question. The next question from 2020 question paper, ice is formed at 0 degree Celsius from water at 20 degree Celsius. The temperature of the brain is minus 8 degree Celsius. The refrigeration cycle used is perfect reversed Carnot cycle. Latent heat of ice is 335 kilojoules per kilogram and the CPW specific heat of water is 4.18 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. The ice formed per kilowatt hour is nearly, we have four options here. The correct answer is 81.4 kilogram. So, we will see how in the next slide. Temperature T1 20 degree Celsius which is 293 Kelvin, T2 is minus 80 degree Celsius 265 Kelvin. COP of the refrigerator with reference to the temperature. So, heat absorbed divided by the work done or temperature T1, lower temperature divided by the temperature difference, 265 divided by 293 minus 265, which is 9.46. The refrigeration effect from the COP definition, COP equal to refrigeration effect divided by the compressor work input. So, 9.46 equal to refrigeration effect divided by the compressor work input is 1 kilowatt. So, 1 into 3600, 1 kilowatt hour. So, 1 into 3 is 600. So, rearranging the refrigeration effect equal to 34,056 kilojoules. So, that is the answer to the problem. A mass of ice formed per kilowatt hour, refrigeration effect equal to mass into sensible heat removed from the water plus later heat removed from the water. So, 34,056 equal to mass into 4.2 into 20 minus 0 plus 335, which is m into 418.6. So, the mass equal to 81.35 kilogram. Mass of ice formed equal to 81.35 kilogram. The next question from 2021 question paper. In an absorption type refrigeration system, heating in the generator 
refrigeration in the evaporator and cooling by the cooling water in the condenser takes place at 95 degree Celsius, minus 5 degree Celsius and 30 degree Celsius respectively. What is the maximum COP of the system? There are four options given here. The correct answer is 1.35. So, we will see how the next slide. So, generator temperature 95 degree Celsius, 368 Kelvin. Evaporate temperature minus 5 degree Celsius, 268 Kelvin. Ambient temperature 30 degree Celsius, 303 Kelvin. COP equal to efficiency of the Carnot cycle into COP of the Carnot cycle, 1 minus TO by TG into TE by TE, TO minus TE. Substituting 1 minus 303 by 368 into 268 by 303 minus 268 equal to 1.35. So, COP of the system is 1.35. The next question from 2018 question paper, in a vapor absorption refrigerator, the temperature of the evaporator and ambient temperature are 10 degree Celsius and 30 degree Celsius respectively. For obtaining COP of 2, 2 for this system, the temperature of the generator is to be nearly. There are four options. The correct answer is 80 degree Celsius. So, we will see how in the next slide. COP equal to 2. Evaporate temperature is 10 degree Celsius, 283 Kelvin. Ambient temperature is 30 degree Celsius, which is 303 Kelvin. So, COP equal to efficiency of the Carnot cycle in COP of the Carnot refrigerator. So, 1 minus TO by TG into TE by TO minus TE. So, substitute numerical value is COP2 equal to 1 minus 303 divided by TG into 283 divided by 303 minus 283. So, which is 1 minus 303 by TG into 14.15. So, rearranging and calculating the generated temperature is 352.9 Kelvin or 79.9 degree Celsius. So, it is the answer to the question. Next question from 2016 question paper. Two reversible refrigerator are arranged in series and the COP are 5 and 6 respectively. The COP of the composite refrigerator system would be, there are four options here. The correct answer is, we will calculate. So, the COP of the composite refrigerator system, COP equal to COP of the first refrigerator system into COP of the second refrigerator system divided by 1 plus COP of the first system plus COP of the second system. Substituting 5 into 6 divided by 1 plus 5 plus 6 equal to 2.5. So, the correct answer is 2.5. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe to the channel, use the videos for your better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. So, we will meet again with another video lecture in the UPSC engineering series exam question paper. Until then, bye.